To be honest, I I was more impressed with uh, the first leg uh, because we we played with a lot of intensity from the beginning. Uh, but the second leg, first half was was not one of my best. I was not very excited. We played a very monotonous game of trying to to play the ball behind the defence, even when those situations were, were not available. And thus we lost a lot of balls and found ourselves having to deal with transitions. And we even considered a very stupid goal from transition. But uh, the second half improved in leaps and bounds. Uh, and we, we again, we started to show the right mentality, uh, forced them into, to make a lot of mistakes kept the structure the right way because uh, first half I also felt that the structure was not proper. We were too anxious to try and find the space behind the defence which would make us to, to have a lot of holes. Immediately we lose possession, uh, then opponents have got a chance. I must say our counter-pressing was also not very good first half. Uh, even our high press probably only yielded uh, something when we forced them to play long balls and then we won those long balls from Motobi and Mosa. But generally we, we were not in, in top shape first half. But I think the second half was uh, the performance that one would have loved to see from the beginning of the match. It's not like we we did not want to play first half, but I just think we, we were over anxious to, to, to replicate or to improve from the score of the previous match because we, we created a lot of chances but we were too anxious and uh, that, that made us to, to commit some silly mistakes where maybe when you should have gone one more time before you put a cut back or a cross, immediately the ball is played into the box and I think we gave the goalkeeper uh, a lot of moments that he did not deserve. But uh, otherwise one is excited that we managed to come back stronger in the second half and kept the structure very well played. Uh, that extra pass improved our number of passes, improved our possession, improved our box entries, improved our short set goals. A uh, lot of lot of uh, stats improved in in all our metrics second half, and that was very positive. Good evening, coach. I just want to go straight to the centre back, the Moroccan. Uh, I mean, one of the most important aspects of a footballer, particularly uh, as uh, midfielders is you know he scans before receiving the ball five or ten seconds before and the center back does that also the first touch well first pass was a diagonal pass which shows you that he's so much confident in regards to passing the ball what exactly can we expect more from him going forward what other metrics does he have as a footballer particularly as a center back <clears throat> technically is is unbelievable that's that's the first thing i can tell you technically he makes less mistakes He's got a full range of passing, short, medium, long, uh, passes that break lines, passes that are targeting the opposite eight, passes that are, op uh, are targeting the opposite wing back or full back, uh, can find the striker very easily. Technically, uh, you cannot falter anything from him. And uh, he's also very strong on set pieces. Really, he's a very dominant figure in that space. Uh, but his physical condition is not yet at the right level to to make a lot of judgment. But uh, we brought him because uh, in in almost all the metrics is 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 very close, if not better than what you would get from a Ricardo Nascimento. Uh, coach, well done on the pitch. Uh, I just wanted to ask you. Know you mentioned the fact that uh, you were not happy with the first half. Do you think the players were looking to be too vertical sometimes instead of maybe just keeping the keeping possession and probably maybe moving the centre backs a bit? Not even necessarily moving the centre backs. Uh, at half time, uh, one of my biggest concerns personally was everybody wants to play the final pass. Everybody is looking for the ball that must find somebody who scores, and uh, that's not football. Uh, you need to build up, consolidate. Uh, shift opponents into maybe an overload, then try to get yourself out of that overload and immediately go to an underloaded side and look for penetration. And that is what we did not do very well first half because with one or two passes, immediately we are looking for the ball behind the defence. And you would expect that maybe one, two, three, four, five passes force them to one side, then a ball that is played either back to, to a six or an eight 
can immediately give you access to the opposite side. And we, we forced the diagonal dodge because it's something that we worked very hard on. We, we scored some nice goals in the previous match from uh, diagon, uh, diagonal dodge. Motobi, the ball that he played to Mudau, and Mudau played it back to Marcelo, who received it for Gaston to finish. And we, we created a lot of very good moments like that in, in, the, in, the pre, in the previous match. But I just think we were too anxious. Maybe we were not playing the game as such, but we were playing the scoreline. You know, uh, the mentality was, can we better what we, we got last, last time? And if you look at the first 15, 20 minutes, how many chances did we get? But we were not very composed. We were, we were overzealous sometimes, or over enthusiastic sometimes, or over anxious sometimes. And those, those elements uh, always fight against accuracy and precision in football. So you must be a little bit calmer and understand what you are doing. But I just feel we were, we were driven more by what we wanted, the number of goals we wanted to score, more than looking at what the game is offering us. And I think that is where we did not do very well. In as much as I'm saying that, but we created a lot of chances. But even those chances could have easily been goals had we been a little bit more composed and uh, taken the game maybe with a little bit more composure because I think that was the most important thing to come to this match with a good mentality. To, to We know the opposition might not be as strong, but uh, composure to say we know our quality, we've got nothing to lose anyway, and which is the attitude I think they came with uh, in this match because they knew they were going to be beaten anyway. So why why sit back? They tried today to, to force some very good moments and uh, they, they scored a very, very good transitional goal. We must give it to them as well. Um, Coach, Keshas uh, Malimula was very impressive, um, in my opinion. Um, and this is a type of game where we, maybe a lot of people who might not be able to, might have not uh, seen these type of players in action. Uh, what did you make of, of his performance? And uh, what more can we expect from him this season and going forward? I must say, offensively, he probably achieved all our metrics. He was always in the right positions at the right time. Uh, scoring three goals for a young boy like that in the Champions League, it's, it's, it's something big. Uh, but uh, I still have a lot of question marks with uh, his behaviour upon losing possession. Uh, I think that is an area that he must improve on, uh, which is why I'm saying our high press was not uh, very good, not only because of him, it's a collective, but uh, you would expect that your leading strikers should spearhead your, 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 your high press or your counter pressing. But uh, these are areas that can easily improve because we know what he's capable of. He's, a, he's one of the best finishers in the country, and we've always known that. But we must improve the intensity of, of his performances, more especially upon losing possession. Not necessarily when he loses possession, but when the team loses possession. Because in most cases against these uh, teams that sit back, when you lose possession, it's actually the biggest moment for you to score a goal. Because if you can capitalize in that moment after losing possession, they are already thinking offensive, they are already thinking of going out of their defensive positions. Then if you cut and look for verticality and immediately create moments, I think it's, it's, it's an area of his game that must still improve. But we, we are patient, we understand, uh, and the training regime in the first team is, is not the same as the training regime in the junior team. So naturally the intensity of a young boy cannot immediately be at our level. But uh, we are very impressed with what he's offering, which is why he's been regularly in the team, because he's doing very well even in training. And uh, if there is one boy that I know has got a goal in him, it's that boy. Um, well done, new victory coach. Um, what, I, what I wanted to ask is you did state that the team was, you felt like they were anxious in the first, first half. So it goes in general for any game. So how do you deal with them? Because it's very important that in sports that your mind is mentally well. Because if the, the boys are not mentally well, then it's pointless to go on. So how do you take them from a space from being anxious to a good space where they can go on the field and actually do what they train at training? So you take them from a bad space to a good space mentally, not just physically. No, but like I said before, this was a, a completely different game. Because here, 
most players ended up playing the scoreline than, than the match that they are facing because the previous team scored seven goals. How many can we score this time around? And that's where the anxiety came from. It's not, it's not like it's something that we are accustomed to. It's something that came as a result of uh, uh, wanting to prove that we can do better probably than the team that played last week. And when you start to play the game of football with a mentality to prove something, naturally you will always be, you will always, uh, be found wanting or you'll either be found uh, with a lot of anxiety. But honestly speaking, I believe uh, it's, it's something that as a team we've, we've always managed well. Uh, which is why in the first match we never had those issues. But in this match, you could see we wanted a chance after chance. Remember, in the previous match, we scored in the first minute, so we must try to score as quickly as possible. And it, football does not work like that. Look at us, second half, we scored six goals. You know, and uh, first half, we only scored two. So that's, that's football for you. Thank you. Coach, congratulations on the first of all. Um, this will be your eighth season in the CAF Champions League group stages. Uh, given the way that the team got knocked out last season, is there an expectation that you've placed upon yourself uh, in what you want to achieve in this year's edition? We always have one and the same expectation. Be it we stumble somewhere, but we are sundowns. We, are, we believe we're a big team, a team that deserves to win every competition that we compete in. Uh, we make mistakes here and there sometimes, but sometimes we do very well in, in, in what we want to achieve. So uh, there is no difference. Even this season, we are in it to try and win it. Uh, we are never in it to try and get to the group stages or to get to the quarterfinals. We are always in it with a mentality to win it. We we'll take the last questions from Tom. Uh, Coach uh, Domingo is coming in, uh, Rolando coming in. Scoring those two goals, I mean, such quality and sometimes obvious. And the goals that were scored by Motupa uh, should be exciting in terms of your attacking options. Yeah, man, we, we must be happy for these boys when they start to score goals. Uh, because the reason why we keep them in the team is because we know of the quality that they possess and what they can give us at any given stage. And I was happy for, for Gift to score those goals. Also happy for Ashim who's coming from a very awkward uh, injury that he had, uh, for him to come back and, and uh, look as sharp as he did. So f for us, it's, it's really encouraging to see Mkulisi scoring the previous week and uh, this week having an assist to see uh, the performance of uh, Gaston, Alende, uh, Obrim Diba. Everybody is, is, is raising his hand. I, I would not really want to, to mention a few and leave the rest because I do believe a whole lot of players are, are raising their hands to say they, they are willing and they are ready to, to help the team to achieve its, its targets. There was a hand from Ken, so let's close it. Oh, oh, thanks, Shubin. Coach, I wanted to ask you from the 15 goals that uh, you scored from Sunday and today, six goal contributions uh, from the academy graduates, how good does that make you feel to see boys who came up from the academy uh, contributing big goals in a, uh, such a big competition on the continent? No, man, our, <clears throat> our academy is our flagship. We, we, we want to, to always produce every year players that can really come in and help the, the team in, in, in achieving its endeavours. And more than anything else, to, to, to make sure that our development and the money spent in, in, in our academy is, uh, is not wasted, but it's uh, always uh, having very good returns on investment. So when you see Mkulisi, the way he's coming up, and uh, I'm very happy with what he's showing now in terms of his offensive play, because uh, we, we always had our fights with him, but now I can see he's, he has realized that this is, this is a make or break in terms of making sure that he forces himself into the team because it's important when you are always pitching with an, an assist, a pitching with a goal. And uh, to see a young boy that we just promoted now uh, playing the way he's playing, uh, Ocasius Mailola, it's, it's also encouraging. We have, uh, I hear people always say we are not uh, bringing players up, but I, I think maybe they, their memory sometimes is. It, 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 it leaves them somewhere because we've always produced players from our academy. The Persitaus uh, came from us. The 
my, my the late Majega Madisha was, was also coming from my academy. Uh, you've got Mkulis, you've got Mahalo, who also had a stint uh, with us, whom we believed was going to be something big. And we, we can mention a long list of players that have really come from our academy and really performed where it matters the most in the Champions League and in the Championship. And we are expecting the same thing from Keshas. Uh, but he's got very broad shoulders. He's one of the most composed young boys that I've seen. I, I don't think uh, most uh, senior strikers uh, have got the composure that he has. And the fact that he can use both left and right makes him one of the best strikers. Thank you, Coach.